what is itl so itl is a it infrastructures library so itl is basically a framework so itl4 that means this is a new versions so this new versions they created and this is basically a framework in any company we work for we have um, three different areas one is service provider side one is services and customer so any company we work for we have three different categories so service provider side we have many things let's say depends on the service provider let's say uh, this is um, one of the isp maybe telstar that's one of the isp so this isp they provide many different kind of services for example they provide you know pstn line adsl line they provide nbn they provide you know iptv services they provide um, even they provide you know it support they provide application services so they have many different kind of services and from the service provider side they have their management they have their people skills they have their you know experience many different department so service provider side they have many things management people skills experience investment they have their budget and many staffs they have and they have the customers as well customers means that may be you know residential business key corporate so they may have many different kind of customers maybe you know some big business pullers or maybe you know cba so those kind of company they support supporting part of their corporate customers so this is the scenario we have for a company any company we work for we will have this kind of scenario so it could be any service provider we can say any service provider they have this kind of scenario service provider means maybe any isp or any managed service provider managed service provider it support it service provider managed we to it as well so scenario will be like this so itl for framework what it does it provide the guidelines how better way we can manage service provider site their services and customers so when you work for a company it depends on your roles how you going to manage the service provider site how you going to deal with these services and how better way you will be able to deal with your customers so those guidelines provided by this itl4 framework so we're going to study this framework and then then we're going to learn many different kind of guidelines which will help us to manage this stuff in the company so main outcome from this um, itl for framework is value creation process how you can create value 
that is the main thing yeah. this is this framework will provide us the guidelines and that by using those guidelines we will be able to learn how to create values in these areas that is the main things with this itl4 framework yep cool now let's have a look at our topics This is our first sections. In these sections, we have some exam informations. There is no prerequisite to take this course. In the exam, all the questions will be multiple choice questions. <clears throat> There'll be 40 questions. You need to correct 26 of them to pass the exam. 60 minutes, one hour exam is a closed book exam. Okay. Now, chapter one, introductions. We're going to discuss IT service management in the modern world about ITL4, the structures and benefits of the ITL4 framework, the IT service value systems, the service value systems, which is SVS, and then four dimensions model. So these topics we're going to discuss in these chapters. Introduction to service management. So services are the main way that organizations create value for themselves and for their customers. Almost all services today are IT enabled, which means there is tremendous benefits for organizations in creating, expanding and improving their IT service management capabilities. So that means these days, every services, they are related with IT, whether it is you know, real estate industry, what is you know, financial industry, or you know, agriculture, or other industry. So everybody, they using some sort of IT systems. So those IT systems or IT service management is one of the key point, and around that areas, ITL can help us. Technology is advancing faster today than ever before and developments such as cloud computing, infrastructures as a service, machine learning and blockchain have opened fresh opportunities for value creation and led to IT becoming an important business driver and source of competitive advantage. So these days, many new things coming up. Cloud computing is there, machine learning, artificial intelligence, and there are many different components we have. And now we have more opportunities to create value for the company and from our customers. So this positions IT service management as a key strategic capability. So because we have all these things, now it is very important to manage our IT service management, IT services. Importance of service management. Organizations must balance the need for stability and predictability with, with the rising need for operational agility and increased velocity. So organizations always need stability. Also, they need you know, a proper um, prediction so they can understand how their service is operating, how it's creating the value. Informations and technology are integrated with other organizational capabilities. Silos are breaking down and cross-functional teams are being utilized more widely. So information technology is these days integrated with many other capabilities. For example, you're communicating with someone, you know, you're providing some services to your customers. You can provide some feedback to your customers or customers can provide feedback to you as well. So around that areas, we are using IT systems and majority of the system, they are directly integrated with organizational capabilities. So service management is changing to address and support this organizational shift and ensure opportunities from 
new technologies and new ways of working are maximized. So service management is evolving and so is ITIL, the most widely adopted guidance on an IT service management in the world. So around all these areas, we have ITIL and ITIL is most widely adopted guidance on IT service management in the world. So this is one of the framework. So this framework is created um, and managed by this Excelus. Excelus is one of the organizations who manage and maintain this ITL4 framework. About ITL4, ITL has led the ITSM industry with guidance, training, and certification programs for more than 30 years. So ITL4 brings ITL up to date by reshaping much of the established ITSM practices in the wider context of STEMs, and as well as embracing new ways of working, such as Lean Agile and DevOps. So they are the, they are the other frameworks, mostly in a software development industry, we are using this Lean Agile and DevOps framework. So ITL is pretty similar to them, but mostly we're using this one for IT service management. ITL4 provides the guidance organizations need to address new service management changes and utilize the potentials of modern technology. So they provide mostly guidance to the organizations. It is designed, it is designed to ensure a flexible, coordinated and integrated system for the effective governance and management of IT enabled services. So that's how it has been designed. So we can use this one in IT services. IT services means, for example, you are using any ticket management systems. So if you work with you know, IT faults and stuffs, if you work in you know, IT areas, mostly um, you're going to receive some faults from your customers and you deal with those faults with IT service management, you know, management software or systems. For example, ServiceNow is very popular these days. Uh, there are Zendesk and other software systems. So those ticketing systems, they actually use this ITIL or similar kind of framework. The structures and benefits of ITIL4 framework. The key components of the ITIL4 framework are ITIL service value system, SBS, and four dimensions model. This is the two key components we have. ITIL for framework, we have these two key components. So throughout the entire course, we're going to study these two components. Now, first components, which is ITL service value system. The ITL service value system represents how the various components and activities of the organizations work together to facilitate value creations through IT enabled services. The ITL service value facilitates these integrations and coordinations and provides a strong unified value focused directions for the organizations. So service value systems, we have five core components. They are the ITIL service values chain, ITL practices, ITL guiding principles, governance, and continual improvement. So basically these components will have you know, details, guidelines, how you know, this service value chain works, what are the practices we can um, use in the company. They discuss many different practices, for example, information security management, change management, then financial IT, uh, financial management, and then incident management, problem management, high availability management. So um, they talked about many different kind of practices which we can use in the company. And ITL guiding principles. Guiding principles mostly, it's a guidance it's kind of like some best practice we can apply in the industry. 
is actually talking about that. Then governance. Governance, how governing body works or functions in the company. So it will provide us some guidance around that. And continual improvement. So each of the services, how we can create value or continual improvement can be done over there. So these sections will provide us the guidance around that. And another sections, it's talking about the four dimensions model. It ensures a holistic approach to service management. ITL4 outlines four dimensions of service management from which each component of the SBS should be considered. The four dimensions of service management are organizations and people, informations and technology, partners and suppliers, value teams and processes. So this is the four dimensions of service management we have. By giving each of the four dimensions an appropriate amount of focus, and organizations ensures its SPS remains balanced and effective. So if you'd like to create value around this service value system, we also need to focus in these four areas. Mostly these four dimensions applicable to the organizations itself. So we, if we focus in these four areas properly, we'll be able to maintain the balance and effectiveness when you create value for our service value system. So these two components, and they have some subcomponents. They are the mostly part of this ITL4 framework. And throughout the entire course, we're going to study these two frameworks in details. And that's pretty much the discussions in this chapter one.